Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Okay, this is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper and Painting. I am installing a Count and Tout, C-O-W-T-A-N and Tout, T-O-U-T. It is a wall covering that has a metallic-like finish. Uh, it's a very exclusive pattern. I'll give you the number in the details of the video. But here's where the wallpaper, well, we have 12 foot ceilings. The wallpaper installation began here. And I put the middle of my first sheet over the middle of this wall. I put the middle of my first sheet over the middle of this wall. Because you can see the seams. And so we need to make sure that the seams are strategically placed so that you don't have an uneven, an unevenness, a lack of symmetry. Okay, having said that, because the seams are visible, you need to hide the last sheet and to blend it in. And typically, almost always, that area is going to be a short area. And so over the doorway is a short area. It happens to actually be over four feet long, but it is nonetheless a short area. And therefore, if you're going to be joining wall coverings, the last sheet and the first sheet, you don't want the, the problem to go 12 feet long. So you choose an area with which to work that is short to show the problem with the least amount of length as possible. And so these are freshly installed. That one and this one were installed within the last hour. And so what I'm going to do is take a sheet and put it over this one and over the edge of that one and cut a seam here and over here. You can see that I have horizontal lines in my pattern. And so I'm going to match up the horizontal lines. I'm going to match up the horizontal lines with the new sheet that I put above. Okay, so that's the goal. Let's get to it. One of the goals is to make the vertical parts of the pattern evenly spaced during this fake out. To give the illusion of evenness or symmetry. As I show you the video in a few moments, you'll see what I mean by those vertical lines. If I just patched this and put this wherever, without consideration for the distance between the vertical lines, or what is called the horizontal repeat, 
I would be doing you and the homeowner an injustice or a disservice. This wallpaper, if you like it, costs $7,500 just for the product alone to do this bathroom. So when I show you the bathroom in the end, the, the product costs $7,500. And they manufacture it in my old hometown of Brooklyn, New York. Not far from where I grew up, about four miles away. When I was a kid, the only thing they manufactured in Brooklyn was grass. Not the stuff you plant in front of your house. Okay, so I put my laser level on the point at which I would like to cut it. The rest is up to a steady hand. It's hard to see. Let's see now. What do you think? Should I cut it in the dark? think I want you to see what's going on here. Okay. Very nice. So I penetrated both layers. Okay. Let's get some water up there. We're only halfway done. This is a geometric pattern in the sense that you have 90 degree angles that your cuts must obey. And therefore it is a geometric pattern. We can't start making curvy cuts.
Okay. Let me bring you up close. That's our cut. And there's our laser. Now you see what I mean by the vertical, the horizontal repeat? Line, 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 line. So we positioned our fake out in such a way that a professor of physics will not be able to see this if he should happen to visit this room. How are we going to do it? That's how we're going to do it, okay? So you see? And so that I'm able to see, I will shut the light off. I think we did it. So here's the piece we just cut off. This was freshly installed not too long ago, a couple of hours. Uh, ideally, you want to have it fresh so that it comes off easily. If you're not able to make the cut for that day, leave the edge up. Leave it up. And that's our cut. Let me show you close. Let me wash it up for you and show you the whole job. <laughs> 